hello guys welcome back to the channel once again please if you are new here kindly consider subscribing to this channel but if you are old here thanks so much for coming back so today i will show you how to design a church flyer for valentine's day celebration in photoshop and this is coming up so here in photoshop to create a new document you go to file new to create your new document and i'm going to leave this paper size in inches and then set my weight and then my height to 4x4 and the resolution still remains at 300 pixels per inches and then i'll hit on quit something like this will appear on your screen and then i'll quickly go to my color adjustment area to add a gradient color to this document and guys i have already set the gradient color so what to do is to leave the color codes in the description for you guys to follow suit or yes still you can get the color code from here so this is actually the first color code i have used and then i'll hit on ok and then this is also the second color code i have used all right so i hit on ok and then ok here as well so over here i'll be changing the style from linear to radial and then i will you know get the angle to remain at 90 degrees and then you know hit on reverse to get this like that okay and i'll hit on okay here all right so the next thing to do is to get my resources and then the first image or the first background to add is this pattern so i'll drag and drop this beautiful pattern in photoshop and then i'll make sure to make this pattern fill the entire document like this Control t again to make sure this pattern fills your document like this and then hit on enter on your keyboard all right i'm going to change the fill to something lower something 24 percent like this and then i'll move to my blending options you know to set this to um something overly all right so i'll still go for my resources and then still be adding my background images to this document so i'll still drag and drop this beautiful image in photoshop and then i'll make sure to you know adjust the whole thing or transform it to fit my document like this and then i hit on enter on my keyboard use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top like this and then i'll right click on the layer to rasterize it and then i'll move to my blending options and i'll set this to soft light all right so i'll add a layer max to this and i'll hit on b which is the shortcut key for my brush tool and then i'll brush off all these places that i don't want i don't want all the all these places so i have to brush off all those places all right hit on v to activate your move tool and then get back to my resources and then i'll drag and drop this beautiful hat also in photo shop yep something like this will make sense hit on enter drag the whole thing somewhere here like this and then control t you know to add a transformation to that let's reduce the size a little bit all right so i'll drag the whole thing here like this and then make sure to set the hat also to overlay so we'll wait for overlay like this all right so i'll still get back to my resources and then i'll add um the last background to it so this is actually a splash that i have grabbed from google so i'll drag and drop this splash in photoshop but in this case i want the splash to be at the top of my document so i'll be having something like this there all right so this is what we have for the background now so from here the next thing to do is to add a couple of tests to this particular document so i'll quickly get to my notepad and then start to add text to this so this is actually the name of the chair so piwc in quanta the whole thing has been copied and then hit on t which is a shortcut key for the test tool in photoshop and then Control v and then i'll make a paste Control a select everything and make sure to reduce the size to the precise size you want your test to be okay so i will prefer something like this and then i will accept the whole thing in photoshop Control a and then make sure your test is centered and then Control d to deselect use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing 
on top of my document like this okay so control j to make a duplicate and then use my arrow keys again drag the whole thing down like this and then hit on t again and then control a select everything and then i'll move back to my notepad and then go for present control c the whole thing has been copied and then control v to make a paste from that okay control a select everything and then make sure the text is also centered use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top like this okay hit on t again and then i'll still get back to my notepad and then go for love so control c copy it and then hit on t hit on any part of the document and then left click and then control v this has been copied or this has been pasted and then control a select everything and then go for a font called elephant a font called elephant but in this case we are not going to use the uppercase of the font so i have to deactivate the uppercase property and then make sure to add an enlargement to it so i will accept the whole thing in photoshop like this and then control a select everything and then make sure the love is centered as well control t to add a little bit of adjustment to it like this and then hit on enter as well okay hit on t again to activate my text tool and then i'll still go back to my resources or my notepad and then i'll go for night of so the program is actually a night of love so control v to make a paste from that accept the whole thing in photoshop and then control t to add an adjustment to it accept the whole thing in photoshop and then drag the whole thing here like this okay so i'll be having something beautiful like this control t the text is too big so let's make it something small like this and then accept the whole thing in photoshop something beautiful like this that guys just take your time when playing or dealing with all these stuffs okay let's go back to our resources and then add this beautiful layer in photoshop so i'll drag and then drop this in photoshop and then make sure to add a transformation to that let's reduce the size to the right size we want okay so i'll be having something like this just use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing to fit my document so i'll be having this there like this and then we'll still go back to our notepad and then still be adding text to this so i'll copy the theme of the program so control c the whole thing has been copied and then i'll make sure to you know hit on t to still activate my text tool and then just click at any part of the document and then left click or control v to make a paste from that okay so select everything and then make sure you reduce the size to the right size you think you want the whole thing to be all right and then make sure you fill up the spaces between them so we'll be having something beautiful like this okay so just take your time guys and then i'll accept the whole thing in photoshop okay so use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing somewhere here like this and then control t to still add adjustment or a transformation to that okay so we have this there control a select everything and then make sure your text is centered and the control d to d select control d to d select and then i'll use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing down what like this okay so i'll still go back to my theme and copy only the theme and then make sure to change the color from white to a yellowish color yeah something yellow like this will make sense from here and then i'll hit on okay all right so i set the whole thing in photoshop again control a and then make sure 
it is scented and then i'll go for my love layer and then control a again and then make sure that one too is scented and then control d to d select all right so let's get back to our notepad and then still be adding a couple of text to this so we'll be having this there a special couples and single service all right so guys i will encourage you all to attend this particular program so hit on t again to activate your test tool and then control v and then i'll paste this one here control a select everything and then make sure you reduce the size to become something small like this and then change the font from elephant to a font called four pins to a font called four pins but in this case we are going to use the upper case of the four pins and then make sure to change the font size from regular to something bold and then we have something like this and then i'll make sure to you know close up all these spaces that i'm having here and then i'll hit on ok here and i'll accept the whole thing in photoshop so control t and then i'll add a little bit of transformations to that so i'll be having something like this and then i will accept the whole thing in photoshop so control a select everything and then make sure your text is also centered control d to d select and then control t again to still add a transformation to that and then i hit an enter control a again and then make sure your text is centered all right control d so the next thing to do is to double click on this layer and then a selection will be made and then change the color from white to this yellow color here and then i'll hit on ok and then i will still accept the whole thing in photoshop all right so i'll get back to my images and then i'll drag and drop this handsome man in photoshop he is actually the pastor hosting this program um on the 14th of february so i'll drag and drop him in photoshop and then make sure to bring him somewhere here like this and then i'll leave him there for the main time and then i'll still get back to my notepad and then go for the date of this particular program so control c copy it and then control v you know to make a paste from there by clicking on t and then control v i'll be having something like this here accept the whole thing in photoshop and then make sure your 14 is at the center of the document so just hit on spacebar and then make sure that everything is centered okay control a select everything and then make sure to change the color from yellow to a white color so we're having this there and then i will set the whole thing in photoshop like this okay so control t to add an adjustment to this this is too big and then i'm having something like this there hit on enter and then i'll be having this there and then control a everything will be selected and then i'll center the dates of this particular program and then i'll be having something beautiful like this so there must be a space between the theme and then the special couple so i'll drag this here like this and then go for my dates again and then drag it there on top or on top of the you know document like this okay then i'll still go for my rectangular tool and then draw a very nice rectangle here like this and then i'll you know try to change the color from stroke to a white color so i'll go for a solid white color like this but in this case the rectangle must be underneath of my um, image so i'll be having something like this okay and then i'll still go back to my notepad and i'll go for don't miss so control c copy it hit on t again you know left click at any part of the document and then control v and then paste the whole thing then control a select everything and then change the font style from caps to you know lower case and then i'll go for a font called um i have found my valentine 
so i'll be having this there accept the whole thing in photoshop and then go for my move to control a to make sure don't miss is centered and then control d to deselect control c to activate your transformation tool and then make sure don't miss um it's becoming something small like this and now hit on enter control a again and then make sure it is centered and then control d to d select so i'll be having this there like this okay so the next thing to do is to go for my rounded rectangle and then i'll draw a very nice rounded rectangle here like this and then i'll change the color from you know stroke to a solid color so in this case i'll be going for this particular solid color and then i'll activate my move to and then i'll make sure to close this panel both my notepad and then this is um the venue of the program so control c copy the whole thing hit on t and then left click at any part of the document and then control v and make a paste from that then control a select everything and then change the font from i have found my valentine to a font called paul pins actually pop pins has been one of my favorite fonts i've been using recently so i will encourage you guys to you know get in touch with that or download the whole thing all right so change this from lowercase to uppercase and then change the whole thing from regular to something bold okay so Control t and then i will add a transformation to that hit on enter to accept the whole thing in photoshop and then we'll be having something very beautiful like this okay so from here the next thing to do is to locate um the layer of the first rectangle drawn so i'll get here and then i'll make sure to right click on the layer to rasterize it and i think we have done that already so i'll get to my polygonal lasso to you know to wipe up some places that i don't actually need so i'll left click here and then left click here as well and then make sure to you know measure the whole thing to be equal and then i'll left click here again and then finally i'll get to my destination and then i'll right click in the middle of the layer and then i'll go for layer via cut okay hit on v to you know accept the whole thing in photoshop and then use my arrow keys to drag the whole thing on top like this okay so i'll right click on the layer and then i'll get to my blending options and then make sure to change the color from white to this yellow color and this is actually the um the color code i have used for the whole project okay and i'll accept the whole thing in photoshop and then the final thing to do is to go for my rectangular macro tool and then make sure to delete the topmost of the layer so i just want the whole thing to be in line with each other so i'll get this lesson and i'll hit on delete on my keyboard and then control d to d select so the final thing to do is to get to my topmost layer and then go for my color adjustment area and then i'll add curve to this the whole thing looks so pale so guys let's add a couple of curves to this and see whether the whole thing will look very beautiful so i'll drag this line down like this and then make sure to take your time when dragging the whole thing that's i will i just want the whole thing to look something darker so i'll just drag it down like this and then i will accept the whole thing in photoshop or maybe yeah something like this is becoming more and more beautiful all right so guys i want to thank you all for having time for this particular tutorial and i want to say may god richly bless you for your time your attention and guys i want us to you know make sure to watch this video to the end and then subscribe to this particular channel and may god richly bless you all and i am out